Yo, what up, YouTube fans? It's your boy C Spec Kurt, man. I'm out here with the Chevrolet C10, of course. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to be switching over from distributor to electronic distributor, okay? So we want to be able to see our timing with the FiTech Go EFI on the handheld display. And in order to do that, you got to have the right distributor. You can't do it with the old HCI distributor, okay? So this is what you want to do. So what I did is I got my little two right here. Went ahead and labeled all of my wires. I just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in numerical order. I'm not worrying about the firing order because I'm just concerned about putting things back how they were. I got my spark plug out right here. I'm getting ready to turn the engine over, get the top dead center. So I'm listening for compression. You should hear air pushing out of the cylinder right here, okay? So that's what we're going for right here. And when I do that, I should also be on number one plug wire right over here. So let's go ahead and get that done. Let's get number one at the top dead center. Um, I think it's a five eighths you're supposed to use, but I got a 16 millimeter. Got a number one cylinder all the way up top dead center. Um, we are on zero on the harmonic balancer. So what I'm going ahead and do now is I referenced where my number one is right here just for the sake of timing and everything to so try to get it in the closest place that it was. But I'm going to go ahead and start removing the distributor. I'm going to start with the removal of the cap. So I'm going to pull all these wires off right now. Get these wires removed, all the cap, take the cap off. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the distributor. All right, gang. So no matter what precautions you take to try to make sure you check for top dead center with it on zero, you know, there's it's a 360 degree wheel. So there's two sides, meaning it can be on zero here and still not be at number one on the distributor. So as we can see, we are not at number one. We are completely on the back side of number one. So we need to do a full revolution to get that baby back around here to where it should be. So let's do it. Now we're coming back around zero. As you can see, we are coming around to where we should be on the distributor. And we are right at zero right there. So that's how you go about doing that. This is an easy way to just pop the distributor off. You ain't gotta take the um, spark plug out, but I just trying to be extra, but let's keep it moving. All right, gang, as you see, we're getting ready to pull the distributor out right now. So let's Go ahead and do that. I got all my wires disconnected from the distributor. And we on number one top dead center. I'm gonna take a picture right here with my camera just to make sure I got a good visual of where I need to be. And voila, let's get it. It will help to get this stripper to hold down all the way out, which I stopped doing because I realized I wasn't in the right place. But that is now done. So let's go ahead and pop this baby out. So get you a rag to catch the capture in the oil that might be dripping off the distributor. So you can avoid from making a mess. Like that one drop that just got away. But that's it gang, we got distributor right here. Yo, check it out gang. I am back. This right here is our electronic billet distributor. All right, so as you can see, it's just a two wire distributor. It's gonna plug directly into the harness that comes off the back of the Fitech unit. So. Let's go ahead and throw this baby in place and get it seated down here on the intake manifold. So stay tuned. 
All right, check it out, crew. We just got the distributor dropped into place. All right, so we're almost home. Let me see, this is as close as I can get that. Just this one, as far as positioning is. You're looking, we're calling the other one. It was slightly different, just a little bit more, but it's just the way the distributor is cut. You know what I'm saying? So it drops in right there. Still got the same relative location. And next thing we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that we, being that we are on number one top dead center, we wanna go ahead and align this distributor so that these contacts right here, these pickups, the pickups for the magnetic sensor right there, we wanna get it as close proximity as we can to the pickup. All right, so it's looking for a, a magnetic signal. So we just wanna rotate this baby and get it in, in place. So that would be right at the pickup location. And here simply because it's right side better I want to make sure that it's lined up perfectly so that it make contact upon me hitting that ignition so let me get this in place all right gang first off now that I got my map I'm gonna put my magnetic pickup in location where the wire is not gonna be in the way of the hole down. So I'm just gonna move it around here just a tad bit to the next marker and make sure that's perfectly lined up. We'll put it just a tad bit on the corner of it. So we have plenty of room to make contact. And it's a good location for the wires out of the way of me bolting down my distributor and everything. So I'm we'll gonna go ahead and secure the distributor at this point and we're gonna go ahead and get the distributor cap on and get these wires in place and keep it moving. Alright gang, check it out. We got the distributor cap in place. Um, I looked at the location of my pickup, my distributor cap, where it's gonna be making where it's lined up at and it's definitely it's lined up right here i put that in retrospect to a location on the base which was the s i picked the s because it was perfectly lined up with and as you can see this post lines up with the s so this is my number one and because i labeled the wires in numerical order i can easily just go from one two three four five and place my other wires without worrying about the firing order because none of that matters once you got the wires in place already on the engine. <laughs> Voila, magic. All right, so we got one through six in place. And now I gotta mount my coil. My coil is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna go get it and get it mounted. All right, check it out, gang. Um, we just finished getting the distributor all wrapped up, put all the wires back on top. Um, I had to switch when you're at if I take Go EF5 is connected to a distributor, ATI distributor, or not non-electronic ignition, where it's not controlling the ignition, the wires that come from the Go EF5 that's a label tech and coil. Coil is not connected when you're using when you are not using the FITEC for ignition timing. You have to make sure you disconnect the tack wire, which will be connected to wherever you're getting your pickup sensor, pickup signal from. And you have to make sure you connect your coil wire so that your fire tech unit can give the signal to fire. Which in my case, my coil wires go into my MSD ignition box, which will be sending the signal to, and then return, this sends the signal from here to my coil in which I have these wires that come from the MSD going to my coil. 
connect in front of the coil. My signal comes from here to the distributor. And it's distributed amongst all the cylinders. When the distributor turns from the engine, okay? So that's what's going on here. So when you have your electronic ignition hooked up, you do not have the tack wire from the FiTech connected. You only have the coil wire connected. And most importantly, you have to make sure you go into your vehicle with your little FiTech GoFi handheld device. You have to go into the menu settings. Once you have menu under initial setup, you want to go to ignition setup. Make sure your car is in on. Make sure the key is on in your car. No. no. Go to initial setup, ignition setup, and you want your timing to be, let's see. Go back. Go to engine setup. You want to go down here where it says tack or two wire plus coil. You need to change that to coil. See? Coil. You want to send that to the ECU. So that's letting the FiTech unit know that ignition time is going to be controlled by the FiTech. So it knows it now has a job to do in that arena. Opposed to just being used as a tack pickup in which it was being used for before. It was getting a tack signal from the MSD 6AL2 box, but now it's getting actual coil ignitions. It's getting a um, firing signal from it now so that it can know when to sh um, fire off. All right, so we got that done. Let's go here to, so now with the FiTech, you'll be able to, let's see, go to Pro Tuner and you'll be able to set your spark map and all that good stuff. Idle advance, 1100, 3000, wide open throttle. Wide open throttle at 15 degrees. Hmm, seems like it would be, need to be higher than that. Wide open throttle at 1100 RPM. But anyway, we'll leave it there for now. You can always, what's great about this is you can tweak it on the fly. So my distributor base timing right now it's at zero. So let's um I think we should be ready to fire it up, man. Let me just check on the hood, make sure everything out the way. Alright gang, um things looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and try to give it a go, man. Go ahead and fire this baby up. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have no issues. Alright, so There we go. Let's see. Again, while tidying up, make sure everything was situated for cranking. Don't forget about your plugging up your vacuum that was previously connected to the ATI distributor and things as such. And I'm also doing an all clear reset. Let this thing start from scratch with learning. So, did a reset, reset all learn. Do that by putting it on number one and then hitting send to ECU, which I just finished doing. So I turned it off, the key off, and I'm turning the key back on. 
to make sure that's um, taking place. Let's see. Alright, let's see here.